Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and I'm bringing you today a um, rather attractive car, modern car. Um, it's a trade-in for us and uh, I think this gives someone the opportunity of getting a very nicely looked after Mercedes CLK from 2006 at a good price. Um, now the registration, I've got to tell you, will be reverting to an 06 or possibly a 56 because the car is a 2006 model and this number plate is being retained by the previous owner. Um, however, the car itself is the CLK280. Now it's a petrol V6 engine. It drives exceptionally smoothly. Uh, it's an automatic gearbox and it is the Elegance model. And I'm going to run over some of the specification with you shortly. Um, and I'm also going to walk around the car and show you any imperfections which may exist on the bodywork and we can have a look at those together. Now the car has got an MOT which runs through to uh, November 2021. Um, it, current mileage is 137,000. It was last serviced at 135,000. So there's no immediate spend required. It drives really well. Um, and in fact, it's a pleasure to drive. And being a petrol uh, V6, uh, 280 model, as you can imagine, it goes rather nicely. It's a very lovely color. Now I hope it's coming across well in the video. It's actually a very, very, very light blue. In this light, it almost looks silver, but it's actually a lovely, very light blue. Uh, metallic the roof which I will show you some photos um, with the roof up that's a fabric material made out of dark blue so it contrasts really well in fact looking at the car here it really does look fantastic at the price point and I've got to say with uh, Mercedes because they build them well they seem to last really well I mean considering this car's done 137,000 miles the interior is really in good condition um, it's more of a four-seater of course and here's a scrumptious leather seats which are very sporty um, you have like a walnut um, dashboard material which goes through the doors like a crumpled leather at the side on the door cards um, electric windows all round as you would expect the air conditioning certainly works that's ice cold uh, and the small battery, the fact that you can take the roof down as well. Automatic gearbox with a sports um, and a comfort position. Uh, obviously a, a roof switch there, it's an electric roof. I can tell you the car comes with two keys and the wheel nut adapter is present. Um, Multi-function steering wheel, it's got folding mirrors which are a handy feature and we can see down here that operate all four windows and I think you can open the boot from down there as well. Um, there is a multi-function computer which displays in the middle of the dashboard there and there is a CD player with what looks to have a Bluetooth system built in. Uh, no sat nav on this model in case anyone's going to ask me. It does have heated seats on the front here. Uh, and I think in regards to the main features, I think that's probably it. Um, I'll get inside and have a sit behind the wheel. It's got its Mercedes mats. It's had two owners. Um, the previous owner has owned it for, a, I believe he said it was three or four years, and then it was just a single owner before him. And there's a big stack of paperwork, including all the sales brochures when the car was new, plus the service book is all stamped up and there is um, old MOTs etc uh, and I'll show you the paperwork in the back. Now we've got a little sort of the surface is slightly peeled off the front of the radio in a few areas here. Never seen that before so just be aware there's a few marks here. There's a little pocket there. Uh, a decent size glove box and that looks like the CD auto changer there. And I think you can put six 
discs in and it looks like there's one that goes in the front um i mentioned to you the air conditioning or climate control should i say is here automatic gearbox and this is the roof switch and there's the deep pocket and well we are going old school remember those old nokia phones they used to last for a week so yeah this one's showing its age a bit but that's popped in there never know if you put a sim card in there it might even work i wouldn't like to pass on that guarantee um being an elegance model you do have nice alloy wheels it has got front and rear parking sensors it has got i believe uh, a very high standard of trim with all the leather and ruffled leather around you here despite the fact it's done the mileage because it's been fully serviced and uh, it certainly drives very nicely uh, i can't see any reason why this wouldn't take you anywhere you need to go and while we're in here if i can find a key let's have a let's have a look to see what it looks like with a roof up well it serves me up my uh, seat belt here and i've got a uh, radio in the background and that's the dashboard and then let's turn the key and let's see if all those lights turn off well, they appear to, but of course I've got a number plate light on as well. There's your 137,000 miles. And that's BBC Two playing in the background. Um, I'm going to hit this button here. And I've got my foot on the brake as well. It says top operation. And let's have a look. I've now got a roof coming towards me here. It's quite important you check that these roofs work properly. So that's just latched in. I've now got something going on in the back. And the windows have all gone up as well. I've got a proper glass rear window with a heated rear screen. And by the way, this is the engine running. Now it's quite smooth, but you can tell that's got some power. So I'm gonna pop out now and let's have a quick walk around this car like I promised you. Let's turn the engine off so you can hear me and let's have a look at it with the roof up so there we are it's got a dark blue roof it's a very light blue in color almost silver and it's a great contrast so nice and clean alloy wheels appear to be in pretty decent shape with a bit of curb brush here and there lots of lots of tread on the tires they've all been looked at um, and I'm going to start on this rear panel here. So this is in pretty good shape with a minimum amount of marks. I think the only little dent I found on the car was this one here. Um, that back bumper has got a little mild rub here, nothing too drastic. There's the parking sensors I mentioned to you. So back bumper appears to be in good order as does the boot lid um, the back of this bumper looks pretty good as does this rear panel um, a little bit of curb rash on some of these some of the wheels here to make them perfect you'd need to get those refurbished but actually when you stand back a couple of feet they look perfectly serviceable yeah there's a distinct lack of dents or scratches in this whole back panel that's nice to see if i get in close i can see a little minor mark here that would probably polish out nice bright glassware with no scratches that mirror looks to be in good shape as indeed does that door moving through to the near side front wing looks in good order lots of life left in that tire and the alley alloy wheel is in good condition with a few curb rashes Moving around onto this front bumper, I can't see any damage there. If I get in close, that's got a little minor mark down here. Uh, as you would expect with 137,000 miles, I've got a few stone chips on the front, which actually when I stand back a bit, they do tend to fade away a bit. And there are some stone chips here and there on the front bumper, but I'm getting very close for that. I think the worst stone chip is probably here on the bonnet. That would probably touch it with a stick. Um, nice and bright, the headlamps, they're not all faded, which sometimes is the case. And that looks quite decent down at the lower point. 
and there's one or two little marks here which again i'm sure would touch in with the color stick uh, this front wing looks to be in good order now i'm at the off side so the driver's side front wing chunky tire all the tires have been checked and they've all got um, lots of tread um, and there have been no advisories on the tyres from the last MOT, so I can't see any reason why it's not going to last. Uh, this mirror is in good order, as is this driver's side door with a very minor little chip up here, nothing drastic. And we're back at the panel we started at. No need to show you twice, but I think the only real dent I could find on the car was that little one on the, on the, on the back. Um, I've just noticed, actually, some of this roof looks to have left out here. That probably needs pushing in a little, but that's a little job to be done. And it happens both sides, but this side quite minor. Um, the roof all appears to be in very good order. Nice and dark blue all round. Can't see any holes or damage. I can see a minor stone chip here in the windscreen but again that's not an MOT issue because it's not very big and it's also not in the passenger and the driver's line of view now just to be clear with our trading cars we literally wash them put them through our workshop to make sure they're in good running order and we sell them on we don't repair them to look like new again we don't paint them we don't try and bash out any minor dents uh, and they are priced accordingly so this particular car drives perfectly well it's quick and it's reliable and the previous owner tells me that it's been a pleasure to drive and own and he's had no issues with it and it's been kept up with its servicing um, now let me show you in the boot um, now as things are at the moment uh, we've got a decent sized boot but when the roof is down you, you have to Oh, in fact, that might be in the down position. Can you see I've just pushed that up? So that's a pretty decent sized boot. And then when you want to put the roof down, you've got to pull this down to make sure uh, there's room for the roof to fold in. The tool kit is present. It's nice and clean in the boot itself. Um, now, when I told you, uh, there's the... Um, that's the servicing done by Mercedes-Benz in Basingstoke. That was at 105. That's 135. It was last serviced by someone else. That's Mercedes-Benz there as well, there as well, there as well. So it looks to have always been serviced by Mercedes right up to 100 and... Did I say 105,000? Let me just double check that. Um, yes, yeah, so it appears to have been serviced by Mercedes-Benz up to 105,000. That's the local dealer who supplied the car. Um, there's some old MOTs. There's the driver's handbook. There's some invoices and receipts for various bits and pieces, including green flag. Um, and this is for if the roof gets stuck, I think you can wind it back with this little tool. It's important that you, if you're buying a convertible, make sure it's got one of those. A few more brochures in here. And then as I mentioned to you, um, this is the locking wheel bolt, very important. You definitely don't want to lose those. And this is a, a brochure full of information for when the car was new. And some more receipts and some old logbooks. So a nice chunk of service history. I think I mentioned two keys. The first aid kit is still present. And there's everything that it should have in the boot so folks this is a mercedes clk 280 elegance from 2006 a lovely light very light metallic blue with a dark blue roof it dries very nicely 137,000 miles last service 2000 miles ago looks to have its full service history and all the associated brochures comes with two keys a locking wheel nut and she is in stock now well i hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you need to know any more information please don't hesitate to get in touch and if you'd like to come and test drive the car come and see it for yourself you're welcome to do so we offer a full uk delivery service at a competitive price we also offer a part exchange service 
that's exactly how we come to get this car but primarily we are actually a classic car dealer but we do operate our own garage with uh, plenty of in-house expertise to make sure cars are checked over prior to them going out so um thank you very much for watching the video have a great rest of the day thank you